Hello my gorgeous little love bugs out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna play with the new Cosmic Wanderer palette from Terra Moon Cosmetics. I'm a little familiar with this brand. I've bought metallic shadows from them in the past, like a little bundle, but that is all I've tried from them. I've never purchased a palette or tried their matte formula, so I'm very excited to do that today. I wanna do some swatches, create a couple looks, and let you guys know my thoughts on this palette. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie, and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun colorful makeup content I like to do a lot of any makeup so if that is what you're into then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video <laughs> I am so excited to be revisiting Terra Moon Cosmetics. I really like the shimmers that I bought from them in the past. I have like this little bundle right here and they're really pretty. So I've always wanted to try more from the brand, but they haven't had releases that really pulled me in until now because I prefer like completed palettes instead of buying singles and they mainly do singles of like all different types of formulas dual chromes multi chromes i mean they all look stunning but knowing me i'm not one to go to singles as much as i would go for a completed palette so i was excited that they were coming out with this so i picked it up right when they launched and i think it looks really pretty so let me give you guys all the details now Terra Moon Cosmetics is a indie brand. Their shadows, I believe, are handmade. They're a cruelty-free brand, and they are a Latina-owned company, which I think is amazing. But this palette right here goes for $52. Here's the outer packaging. Isn't that pretty? Cosmic Wanderer. That is such a cute theme and name. Here's the back of it. It looks like it has like the ingredients and everything. And in here, there are 12 shades. So this one doesn't have a mirror, which is fine. It's better for the environment. It has like a little saying right here that says, wander into the beauty of the cosmos. Isn't that cute? And then here are the shades. They're so pretty, right? I love this color story. Now, the breakdown of the shadows in here is that there's five dual chrome shimmers, six mattes, one satin matte with sparkles so this is cool and they're also magnetic so you can pop up the shades you can rearrange it or put their other shades in here if you want to so i like that you can customize it so that is all the info on this palette i'm excited to get into it i have not swatched it while i'm filming this portion i usually do it after i create the look so i can go into them blind so i have no idea what to expect so we are going to test out this formula today and i'm going to create two looks with this see what i can come up with i'm excited to try their matte formula the shimmers look absolutely stunning so i am going to zoom you guys in and get a little closer and we're gonna dive into these looks so I went ahead and already primed my eyes. I used the Matte Painterly Paint Pot in Soft Ochre in case you're curious and what is on my lids and I did not set them. So I think I'm gonna start off with the purpley shades in here. And I think I'm gonna go from like lighter to darker to see how the mattes do. And then the next look, I'll do the opposite. So I'm gonna start off with Soleil, this ready shade right here. The shades do seem like they're on the powdery side. Definitely need to kick off the excess. Curious about the pigmentation. I have no idea what to expect from their matte formula. So let me make sure my creasing is gone. So I'm just gonna put that here. Huh, okay, okay, okay. So I would say this is more like a magenta, like a pinky red than it is like a true red matte. But I'm just putting that on the outer corner. And I'm gonna get it here through the crease. So this is gonna be my, I guess, transition shade. I'm not really having any fallout, so that's good. I guess dusting off the X's does work with these shadows. And so far the pigmentation seems nice. So I want to now go over that, like in the outer corner and into the crease as well with Electra. This, I would say more of a warmer purple. And I'm gonna use the same brush. I just cleaned it off with a color swatch. And this does seem a bit darker than the Soleil shade. And I'm gonna run that into the crease as well. I'm just gonna take it a little lower than the Soleil shade. 
So to take it a little step darker, I'm gonna go into Gravity. This is the one that is a matte with shimmers in it. It looks like a very deep teal. And I'm gonna just stick that out here just to add a little bit more depth. You can see the sparkles, but for the most part, it does seem like the sparkles are kind of dusting away, especially when I like tap off the brush. But it has great pigmentation and it's laying over the other shadows very nicely. So I'm just gonna keep it here. I'm not gonna take it too far in. I went ahead and did my other eye to save some time. So now I wanna get into this shade right here called Planet X which looks like maybe a purple to a blue shifty shade. Also looks like there are pink sparkles in it. Can't really tell, but I'm just picking it up on this flat shader brush and I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna see how they do on a wet brush. And I'll just put it right here closest to the mat. Huh. Let me pick up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I feel like I didn't have enough on my brush. Yeah, I think this is a purple to like blue dual chrome. But I don't feel like it's picking up that well on a brush. I feel like maybe this is more of a like a creamy formula. I'm sure this kind of shadows do best with either your finger or maybe some glitter glue, which I'll try that out in the next look. So I put on my finger just to to do that instead, yeah. I really needed to build that up. I do have a little bit of fallout from this shade. Which I'm not surprised. It's a very sparkly, shimmery shade. Now I'm gonna go into Altair or Alter and use that in the inner portion. So I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna see how it picks up. Yeah, they're just so soft and creamy that it's not really getting on the brush. I'm gonna spray it again. This is like a pretty purpley magenta. And I'm just putting that there. Yeah, these don't do that well on a brush. Even if it's a wet brush, it still kind of struggles to stick to it, to the brush, the shimmer. So that is fine. They look stunning though. I'm just kind of meshing that in. I'm gonna take my finger this time. Oh, this is such a beautiful like magenta. Is it too purple? Oh, it's pretty. So I'm just tapping that in there and I'm gonna kind of mesh it into the other shimmer. So now let's get into a shade for the inner corner highlight. I'm thinking maybe Vega. I wanna see if it's light enough. If not, I could always top it over with this lighter metallic in here. But look how pigmented that is and they feel so buttery. This is my first time putting my fingers into the mattes. So I'm gonna pick it up on this pencil brush. Gosh, look how pigmented that is. And I'm gonna dust off the excess and I'm just gonna see. Yeah, I think it's too, too dark. But since we're here, I'm gonna just add some to the front. Why not, right? Since I already put it on my lids. Oh yeah, okay, I like, I like that little addition of blue in the front. I'm just bringing it a little and then I'm gonna diffuse into everything. So the blue looks nice there. I mean, it makes my inner portion look so dark. So I need to lay over the first flight shade right here in the inner portion. So I'm taking this brush right here. This one looks like it might have like a pink shift to it. Can't really tell. It's a very shifty iridescent shade. And I just sprayed it. It's on the flakier side. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I think it's like a really bright blue. And it's actually sitting nicely over the blue mat that I put there, which I'm actually glad I did that. Ooh, that is so poppy. I'm just gonna slowly mesh it into the metallic that is on the lid. So I decided to take the first light shade a little further up and cover where I put all that blue just to make it pop more. And I really like the addition of the blue in the inner portion. So I wanna go ahead and do my lower lash line. I'm just gonna use the same mattes that I used through the crease, just keep it consistent. And then I'm gonna finish off the look and then I'll come back to show you guys it all completed and done.
All right, love, so I'm back. I put my hair down. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see the finished look. I think it turned out really nicely. I like the combination of the purple and the blue in the inner portion. And I did go ahead and add a little star gem on the other corner. Just since this is like a Cosmo themed palette, I thought that was cute. It's so easy to just pop that on. It's a nice little addition. And I did go into another palette because I wanted to lighten up the front here. I felt like it was just a little too dark. So I went into the Tropic Color palette from Cindy Grace. This is the collab with Tina from the Fancy Face. And I really love these like lighter shades in here. So I took a little bit of Blue Mahoy right here to lighten up the blue. And I took a little bit of coconut too, right in the inner portion. It's like a satiny white it's so pretty i love those shades so i just did that to lighten it up more to my liking i like it to be very poppy in the inner corner but what else i did off camera was i went in with the huda beauty liner to create a wing i went in with the shade exit from ColourPop, this liner and the waterline and then for my lips i have the ColourPop lip liner in what is this lumiere do they still sell this? I don't even know. I've had it for so long. But then I went over that with the Kaleidos Lip Tonic in Immersion, which I don't think they sell these anymore. Or the last time I looked, they only had a red option, but I really love these. They're like super lightweight lippies. Like I just feel so good on the lips. And then for mascara, I'm using the Beauty For Real High Def Mascara, my go-to right now. And I think that's it. Yes, that is it for this look. I love how uh, dark and smoky, very jewel tone, very pretty. The shimmers are so sparkly. I'm really blown away so far. I'm, I'm really enjoying this palette. So I'm going to go off camera, take this look off, and get back into this palette so we can do one more look with it. All right, I'm back to get into the next look so we're gonna start off with the darkest shade this time and i'm gonna do more of a graphic shape with this look so i do want to start off with triangulum <laughs> i think that's how you say it it's this dark blue matte and i'm going to take this little short brush right here and i'm just gonna map the shape out on the outer corner and match it up to where my brow ends. It's gonna go on lightly just to get the shape down first and then bring it up here. I have to make sure I take it above my hood because I, you know, do have hooded eyes. Yes, okay, liking that shape. So I'm gonna also take the same brush and I'm just gonna fill in the space. I'm gonna stamp it on. Usually shadows like this work really well if you just pack them on instead of like, you know, swiping back and forth with like a fluffy brush. So I'm just going to keep it on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush from Farrah, I think this is, and I'm going to go into Chromosphere, this green matte. And I'm just going to uh, make a shape over here as well. I want it to look very precise and kind of like match up with the shape of the outer corner. And I'm also gonna fill in this space too. Make sure it does some fixes. I'm just trying to, you know, be as precise as possible. That's why I took such a little brush and I'm just filling out the space. So I think the shapes are pretty decent. I mean, they're not perfect, but my eyes don't totally match on each side. It's good enough in my opinion. So I want to get into the shimmers now and I want to use a glitter glue this time and see how the shimmers do. I think they're going to do better with a glitter glue. Having a nice tacky base is going to probably help. So I'm going to go in with the Unearthly Glimmer Grass. I really like this. It is super similar to the NYX glitter primer, but I like both of them equally. So I'm just gonna lay that all in the center. All right, so now let's get into the shimmers. I wanna use two of them. So I think I wanna go into this one, which is more blue. It's called 
Piliads, I think that's how you say the name, and then this one is called Aurora, which is more green. So I'm gonna take the green one in the inner portion, the blue one in the outer portion, and maybe tap this one in the center. But I'm using the brush that I put the glitter primer on, so it looks really pretty. And I'm going to put it right there. I think this is gonna work. I think this might have a purple shift to it. Cause I think these are all dual chromes. Ooh, 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 that's pretty. So I'm just gonna take it like midway. I don't think I've ever done this before. I took two different shimmers in the center. Normally I just take one. Or you see I have like a different halo eye set up. So now I'm gonna clean this brush off. I'm gonna go into Aurora. Ooh, this is pretty. I think this is like a green to blue shifty shade. And I'm just gonna work that on the edge. And I'm gonna slowly get them to mesh together. So I'm gonna go back and forth between the two shimmers. I think that looks cool. I'm glad I did that. So let's go into first light and I'm just gonna take it with my finger just like a little bit like that and just kind of dab it in the center so we have some brightness right where the two meet. I think that will look really good just to have a little brightness in the center. So I went ahead and finished this eye. I went ahead and did my lower lash line to save some time. I feel like they match for the most part. I did take the shadow a little higher up on this side because my brow bone tends to lift higher up, especially like when I'm talking and doing all of this. So for them to match, I have to lift the shadows higher on the lid here. So now let's get into the inner corner highlight. So going back into first light, I'm just picking it up with this little brush and I'm gonna wet it because it's just a very flaky shadow. And I'm just gonna pop that right here for beautiful brightness. I love this. It's so shifty and beautiful and bright. And I'm just gonna keep it right there, concentrate it in the inner portion. I'm not gonna really take it too far in. All right, inner corner is popping. This is so pretty. Now I did get a little bit of shimmer fallout. So you definitely want to do your eye makeup first if you don't want to have shimmer specks on your cheeks. Because even if you go in with a wet brush or a glitter primer, you're still going to get little shimmer specks because the shades are a little bit more flaky. They have a lot of little sparkles throughout them. I mean, they're beautiful, but usually shadows like that, you're going to get shimmer fallout. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to finish off my look and then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look all right i am back yes i had to do a little extra on the eyes i could not help myself but i just wanted to do more i love how this looks it's so pretty i like the mix of the green and the blue and i had to do a liner like i just had to since it was more of a graphic shape and of course i can't help myself i love putting gems in the inner portion i feel like it just makes it look so special so i have these little iridescent gems they're from amazon but the liner that i use to create like this arch here and line on the edge here is from the glisten cosmetics cake liner palette this is a collab with the fairy freak and i use this minty shade right here they're so good they're amazing cake liners and then for my lips, I wanted to keep it nude so we could keep the attention on the eyes. But I have the Lux Liner from Juvia's Place in So Rare. And then I went over that with the Letho Cosmetics Lipstick in Arrival. It's a cool tone nude. It looks so good with this look. And then for my waterline, I went in with the LA Girl Shockwave Liner and Fresh. And for liner and lashes, I have the Nakia Joy Lashes on. And then I used the Kiss Lash Glue Liner to stick those lashes on. And that's it. That's it for this look. Of course, I used the uh, Beauty For Real High Def Mascara. And that is all I did off camera. I love this. Guys, I love this palette. Like everything performed amazing. So I am very happy with both of the looks. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out and give you guys my like final first impressions on this palette. 
just have to put this out there. I think indie brands are killing it right now with their releases. All of the indie brand palettes that I've tried recently have been amazing. And I think that this one is just as amazing. I'm so happy that Terra Moon finally came out with another curated palette. It's been a while and they usually release singles and I've been wanting to try like their matte formulas, their other shimmers, because I only have like one small little bundle from them. But I just didn't want to like go through the singles. It can be very expensive to buy singles as well. So I've been waiting for them to release a palette and they finally have and it is beautiful and amazing and I feel like most people will prefer a curated palette because this is only $52 and you get to try a bunch of different shades from them and they're all so beautiful. The mattes in here are very pigmented, they're easy to work with and these shades are kind of hard to formulate but they did a good job with the formula. I was able to go from dark to light, light to dark with the mattes and had no issues. Now they are on the powdery side, you're gonna get a little kickback you might have a little fallout you definitely have to dust off the excess or do your eye makeup before you do your foundation don't be like me which I like to do it the hard way but that's just the life I live okay and then the shimmers are really beautiful they're very shifty extra dimensional very sparkly so you'll get shimmer fallout from them as well no matter what you do whether you use a wet brush finger or glitter primer because they're just so intense and I think it's worth it because they're just so pretty but I think the best way to use these shimmers is to take a brush go on with some glitter primer and then use the brush that you put the glitter primer on with and pick up the shadows I think that does really well or using your finger because if you just go in with a brush it's kind of hard to get these to pick up because I think they're just so creamy a little flaky so they don't really stick to like the bristles very well. Now I do feel like some of the shades in here are on the similar side. I wish that there was a little bit more variation like the Alara shade and the Chromosphere shade. They look very similar and I feel like once you blend them on the eyes, they're gonna blend out the same. I'll show you guys like one is more teal, one's more green, but they're basically like the same tone i just feel like they're gonna translate the same on the eyes i do also feel like the triangulum and the gravity shade too is very similar now the gravity shade has sparkles in it but once you blend it the sparkles kind of go away but i'll show you very very similar one's just a little bit more of a deep teal and one's a deep blue but these also I think are gonna end up looking the same in the eyes. So I do wish maybe they had like a deep purple, that would have been nice. And maybe one more lighter shade, whether it would be a light metallic or a light matte, like a pastel shade would have been beautiful because I feel like the only shade you really have is this to use this inner corner. Now, don't get me wrong, it's stunning, it's gorgeous, it's shifty, it's intense, but I would like at least one more inner corner highlight to work with. But of course I can always pull from other palettes and get like a lighter shade from there but I do think the color store is beautiful on trend I think this is perfect for the like winter season like the jewel tones and stuff are so pretty so if you like jewel tones you like these shades I think you would really love this you got a good range of light to deeper shades mid-tones I love like the color options that they put in here I think it's amazing you cannot go wrong with this I definitely think it's worth it and I'm happy that I picked it up and I hope that they keep coming out with palettes because if they do I'll probably keep buying them but that was my thoughts on this palette this was the looks that I came out with you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below did you pick up this palette have you tried other things from Terra Moon and what were your thoughts I would love to hear from all y'all and if you're new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun and colorful makeup content you like a lot of indie makeup and all that fun stuff then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family also don't forget to check out the description below i will link the palette i will link the rest of my makeup that i'm wearing i will also link other videos of mine you might be interested in watching i will also have my contact and my social media platforms i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty and i do post a lot of different content there as well so if you want to check it out i would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me for a little bit i really really appreciate it but I just hope you all are doing well wherever you are in the world and I'm just sending you all so much light and love but until next time bye guys <laughs>